Air Check Sampler SKC PCXR4 Basic Check First, check the case. If it is damaged, please contact the IRSST. Next, check the inlet filter by looking through the housing. Replace the filter as needed by loosening the four screws and by removing the inlet housing. Remove the O-ring and remove the filter. Insert a new filter and insert the O-ring. Replace the cover and tighten the four screws. Turn on the pump by pushing the switch to ON. Check the condition of the battery by pressing the Start Hold key. And then the Flow and Battery Check key. The display must indicate BAT OK. If the display indicates only BAT or low BAT, you must recharge the battery before starting your sampling session. To do this, push the ON switch downwards and connect the battery to a charger by the charger jacks located at the bottom right corner on the back of the instrument until the charger light turns green. The pump is now ready for sampling. Operation at high flow. Check that the flow regulator screw is tight. To do this, remove the cap screw for the flow regulator. Tighten the flow regulator screw until it stops. Replace the cap screw. Start the pump by pushing the switch to ON. Check the pump's automatic shutdown mechanism by plugging the inlet with your finger. The pump should shut down in less than one minute. And flow fault and hold will be indicated on the display. If the pump does not shut down, contact the IRSST. After this check, press the flow and battery check key and let the pump run for about 15 minutes in order to warm up the pump's internal mechanisms. Press the flow and battery check key to put the pump on hold. Start the flow meter by pressing start for 3 seconds. Using the arrows, select Measure and confirm by pressing Enter. Using the arrows, select Count and confirm by pressing Enter. Remove the red cap from the sampling cassette and connect the sampling cassette to the pump. Then remove the blue cap from the sampling cassette and connect the sampling cassette to the flow meter. Press the flow and battery check key to turn on the pump. Adjust the desired flow, namely between 1 and 5 liters per minute, with the flow adjustment screw located on the side of the pump. Remove the tube attached to the sampling cassette, which is connected to the flow meter. Press the flow and battery check key to place the pump on hold. The pump is now ready for sampling. Operation at low flow and constant pressure. The constant pressure mode allows sampling at low flow, that is 50 to 500 cc per minute. To do this, the pump requires an initial flow of 1 to 1.5 liters per minute in constant flow mode. To put the pump in constant flow mode, remove the cap screw covering the flow regulator. Check that the flow regulator screw is completely tightened. Start the pump by pushing the switch to ON. Press Start Hold to place the pump on hold. Press the Flow and Battery Check key and let the pump run for about 15 minutes to warm up the pump's internal mechanisms. Start the flow meter by pressing Start for 3 seconds. Using the arrows, select Measure and confirm by pressing Enter. Using the arrows, select Count and confirm by pressing Enter. 
Connect the pump to the flow meter using flexible tubing. Set the flow to the desired rate between 1 and 1.5 liters per minute using the flow adjustment screw located on the side of the pump. Remove the tube attached to the flow meter and the pump. Loosen the flow regulator screw by turning it three turns counterclockwise. Replace the cap screw. Use appropriate sample tubes for your sampling and cut off the ends with the arrow pointing to the holder. Insert your sample tubes into adjustable flow tube holders. Connect the sampling train to the pump. Using flexible tubing, connect one of the two sampling tubes to the flow meter. Adjust to the specified flow using the flow adjust screw on the tube holder. Repeat these operations to calibrate flow to the other sample tube. Check the first sample tube again and readjust if necessary. If a readjustment is made, check the other tube again. Press flow and battery check to put the pump on hold. Remove the flexible tubing connecting the sample tube to the flow meter. Screw protective covers into place on the two tube holders. The pump is now ready for sampling. Press Start Hold to start the sampling. The display indicates sample running, and the time elapsed in minutes is indicated on the display. Install a tamper resistant cover to avoid any accidental modifications of the sampling parameters. Remember to tighten the screws on the temper-resistant cover. To stop sampling or to record a stop time, press the Start Hold key. To completely stop the pump, push the ON switch downwards. This shutdown resets the elapsed time to zero.